So I kind of want to start out with, you know, how, how did the three of you guys know each other? Well, uh, first I was introduced to Andy through one of the guys on the team who played a few years back. And then uh, Andy and I started talking about hunting and he pretty much said, I have a good buddy of mine named Chad, you know, we should meet him and we should go hunting sometime. And we went one Sunday morning at like 4 a.m. or 4.30 or something like that and met Chad. And uh, ever since it's kind of been uh, the threesome. So you guys kind of, you know, all became friends, but how did you, who came with the idea of saying, hey, we all like hunting, we got that in common, let's start a business? Sort of, uh, we wanted to get some shirts made, kind of call ourselves a group, uh, and then we came up with barrels up, a friend of ours did, and I actually had the thing laying on my desk at work, and we had a lot of people actually wanted to buy them, and we ended up selling like 48 shirts out of just coincidence, and that's kind of how the whole thing got started. We said, hey, maybe this will go a little further than than just shirts for us. So, so it wasn't even, you guys didn't even say, hey, let's start a business. It was, hey, let's make some shirts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it sparked into this. Yeah, so, yeah. so you start selling those t-shirts. Um, who said, let's, let's branch off of this. Let's make this more. That was, we were kind of coming back from hunting one weekend and I kind of brought up as, hey, if we can sell these shirts, you know, with just kind of people seeing them on a flyer deal, um, we can go with more other items and Let's see if we can't get some advertisers and go with it. We decided all just to take a stab at it. I mean, that's a really big thing to undertake. I mean, three, I mean, very busy people. Obviously, you've got Brett playing hockey. You guys both have your respective careers. How is that something that you said, you know, well, let's let's start a website. Let's let's branch off of that. Let's let's put so much more into that. What I mean, from T-shirts to what you guys have now, I just I. It's amazing to me how you guys branched off into that. To be honest, it all happened really fast. Um, it happened a lot faster than we thought because the, the, the guy that we that does our t-shirts, he was kind of the guy that pushed us towards the website more or less than anything. And we wanted, that was a good idea. We liked the idea. But he was so good with graphic design and working with the website that it kind of evolved into what it is right now. Uh, so how did, I mean, it looks like there's other outside perspectives, um, you know, of people who are kind of helping you guys get this started. Um, Andy, what made it be you three and you three alone that we're going to kind of make headway on this? I guess, well, it's, it's always been the, the three of us in our hunting group. I mean, we we're always the ones who were going out, you know, there's guys thrown in here and there. Um, but we were the ones who were always talking, always together, you know, who, who developed this thing. You guys eventually say, okay, let's do this. Let's create a company for ourselves. You make that decision, what's your next thought from there? Where, where does the money come from? Where does the money come from? That's the next thought. Uh, I don't know. We all kind of talked about uh, what we wanted to do for the next step, and we thought we would, you know, check it, check around and see what it'd take financially to get this thing started. And we kind of all just pitched in, you know, a third, a third, a third, and pretty much did it at that angle. I mean, it, it, it was a lot more expensive than we thought it would be, and we kind of gave our room, gave ourselves some room for error, which helped in the long run. Let's talk about what is Barrels Up. Uh, get that I guess uh, everybody calls it mostly an e-commerce business where you can go online, you can buy anything from decoys uh, to fishing items, apparel. Um, you can talk to other hunters and fishermen um, through blogs. Um, there's advertisers you can share pictures because not everybody's going to shoot a trophy deer or elk or something. Uh, you got kids out there that have a little sunfish or something. You want them to be able to display it worldwide too, and they think it's kind of neat that hey, my fish is out there where everybody can see it. You guys have a tagline, "No excuses." I want to know about that. <laughs> Who came up with it, and what does it mean? You have a big one. Yeah. Um, actually, yeah, Jason, our, our web guy, kind of came up with that. He's put you know, play on words, but it kind of fits in with us. Um, you know, I get beaked a little bit here and there if I miss a Sunday. Um, we had a couple guys, you know, where Chris Hepp and, and Aaron Marvin could be out here, you know, but they're at home sleeping. And so, so it's kind of like, you know, you get up and, and get out there to do what we love, you know, and there's no excuse. No for excuses. So, you better yeah. be there. Yeah, you yeah. better be there or you're going to get beaked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is what it's coming up. You guys have this website and you've, you know, expanded it beyond just clothing and apparel. Um, you have pro experts. Um, tell me a little bit about the experts that you guys have. Uh, one is Jerry Carlson, which is a local guy that's done TV, radio, still does radio, um, newspaper writings all over the place. So like, yeah, I'd like to help you guys out. And one of my, I grew up with uh, one of the, he was actually a goalie in high school. Uh, he, 
became like a pro walleye fisherman and uh i've known him for years and years and uh he just approached me one day and said hey i like i like your site you looking for any fishing you know experts and i said yeah absolutely you know so we kind of worked a deal out and uh he does our all of our pro staff for fishing and and uh answers questions for anyone that has questions about walleye and some other you know fish as well are there other pro guys to it like Mar <laughs> one of the guys that we call i call pro, pro staff because i think he likes to be called marvin aaron marvin He's our uh, he's our musky pro staff guy. We call him <laughs> musky. Yes, yeah, so if, if you're on the forum, you can talk to to Aaron and musky ask him about musky questions. He's he's pretty obsessed with musky. Is that more of an ego boost for him? You do it just because he's your friend. <laughs> uh, most cases, yes, but okay. I, he does know a heck of a lot about uh, muskies and stuff like that. So you guys have a very customer interactive website um, where I feel like you guys encourage your your people who go to your website to you know um, interact within talking to the experts within uploading their own photos telling their own stories um, what made you guys want to work your website that way hunting is and fishing is so vast I mean in, in from kids growing up to your older people out there it covers such a generation gap that everybody wants to share stories I mean you you go out after hunting that's half the fun you sit around the campfire and you talk about missing a deer or fish or getting that big deer and you want to share from all aspects from everywhere because you know we don't know some of the people that come on the site from Colorado or wherever well now they can share it with us and we're states away how how does it get out to Colorado I mean if you, you know you're Minnesota based and because you're an internet only kind of company how, how do you get that word out all the way out there when we've expanded some of our advertising um, we are actually in uh, like what was it game fair game fair uh, yeah. We went through like a newspaper for advertising. We've we've done we've linked up with other sites, and f f so we've had orders from Alabama. California. We've had or California. Yeah. California. We had an order from the Netherlands. What? <laughs> One guy called us uh, asking to buy decoys, I think, and he said he found us on Google, yep. yeah. which was which is astonishing because, I mean, it isn't, I tried to find us through Google and it, it's a process, you know what I mean? You guys, obviously, you have a lot of clothing as well and you obviously don't sit in the basement and hand stitch your own stuff to, to mass produce. Um, who helps you guys out with that? Jason, our, our web designer, um, does all of our our screen printing, embroidery. Um, you know, he takes care of all that stuff, so it, it, it worked out great for us. Do you guys run your business for profit or just purely fun? Or both? <laughs> you, would, you could argue both, I guess. Yeah, you could argue yeah. both. Um, it started out more as a fun thing, yeah. knowing that it's going to take a few years. And yeah. we've talked to a lot of people that started out, you know, other businesses too, and they're like, hey, five years. You know, five years from now, look back and see where you're at because it's going to take you at least that. I think that we've only been a year into this like a little over a year and a couple months and we got a long ways to go obviously and to make money you got to spend money to make money i mean we've learned that pretty easily mm -hmm. but uh i mean it's we're learning too i mean we're gonna have a little learning curve to to work with so i mean if you put it in perspective i mean it's three guys in a basement trying to <laughs> to what you know have their own business and and to me how do you how do you go from three guys in a basement kind of you know just joking around, talking about t-shirts to, hey, let's start a business to, hey, now how do we get our name out there? How do you get people to come to you? I guess the main thing is contacts. It, it's yeah. it's definitely, as we've known, uh, we got some pheasant farms we work with and those guys have advertised with us. Well, now they know and see us out there and we go out and help with uh, disabled veterans funds and that stuff. And they see that, hey, these guys are willing to give to, it's not all about business. And so that's really helped. Uh, we've done stuff with kids charities. Uh, disabled veterans is one that I'm kind of big into, but that also helps to show that, hey, we're not all about- you know, Not all about profit all either. Not yeah. Profit. It's not, about yeah. being with people that enjoy it. So you guys kind of, I mean, you, you guys are kind of from the area and, and you guys are kind of set here. Brett's not from around here and Brett is gonna be graduating here within the next year. What's gonna happen once, once Brett kind of we're gonna, kick, we're gonna kick them out. <laughs> that once he goes pro, we got all kinds of. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's pretty easy. I mean, everything nowadays. Well, especially in internet business. You know, it doesn't matter if he's, you know, here in California, overseas playing hockey, you know, or whatever he's doing. You know, we still got the internet. We can talk. We can make changes. We can conference call. You know, and, and I mean, there's nothing. I don't think we 
we need to meet face to face for it. So it's definitely something that you want to continue once you graduate as well. Huh? Absolutely, yeah. I, I, we've talked about this, like we, Chad, 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 and I have talked about it. We kind of leave him out here, but <laughs> uh, we've we've said that we want we want our this we want this to be our retirement, you know, thing. Like we want to retire from our jobs and just be doing this the rest of our lives. I mean, that would be a, you know the perfect situation, but uh, long way, long mm -hmm. ways to go. But yeah, I mean, that's I definitely don't. I mean, I. I think I'm going to stay with these guys for sure for the next 15, 20 years or whatever. In the basement, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah in the basement. So. And it's only been, you know, like Brad said, only a year and a couple months since you guys have really kind of taken this underway. Um, so far, what would you say has been Barrels Up's biggest success? Still being here? I, mean, I think back when we started it, going, geez, you know, I mean, a couple of buddies throwing some money towards, you know, a pipe dream and you know, how big are we really going to get? And then, you know, we're talking about the game for people like, we didn't think we would be this big this fast. I think uh, one of the biggest things is all the advertisers that I never would have thought that we, we got, what, 30 something, I think, already? Yeah. Um, that are willing to actually, hey, we'll give you guys some money, you know, help you out, or products, or, or you can sell our stuff. And I really didn't think of somebody coming from where we did would just be able to contact people, hey, you know what, we have faith in us and do this. And, Having some early contacts has really helped us to get to where we are. You guys have had a year of this under your belt. Where do you want to take Barrels Up? What do you want to do with it from here? I'd say someday, it, you know, it's a long ways off, but if we could actually have a storefront, even if it's a small one, you know, locally or something, it would be fun. Or you could actually have a place where you could have product sitting, you know, and, and not be in a basement. You could yep. actually have a store you go to with an office and something like that. So what's next for bar Barrels Up? I know, Andy, you said that um, you guys are, are updating your website, yep. doing that. Um, but what, el what else is next? What do you guys what do you guys have to come up with? Uh, well, coming up with the new website, um, we're going to be adding you know, new products. We've got Muzzy, we're adding other stuff. Um, Chad, we got uh, gun, rack, gun yeah. rack. Gun rack, we're adding. Got decoy, yeah. um, and then along with that, um, we're going to come out with you know, two or three new looks. Um, you know, uh, design t-shirts. Uh, so just not, you know, the, the Barrels Up logo, we're gonna kind of incorporate that with, you know, uh, like an Ed Hardy kind of looking t-shirt, but, you know, hunting and fishing themed. Um, and then hopefully, you know, this summer we'll be back down at the game fair in Anoka. And, yep, and, which and is a big thing, yeah. And after that, we'll be in the field and hopefully yeah. getting some good footage. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> hopefully so. eventually it leads to us filming our own hunts. And we've actually, We've actually been approached a little bit about this as having our own TV show, which would be kind of fun, uh, which is, I mean, a little bit down the line, but that would be fun to have our own TV show and, and kind of be the comical <laughs> crew. I want to know, why do you guys do this? Because the hunting community, like I said before, it's a small community, and it's kind of one of those things where it's like a brotherhood, you know what I mean? And once we got into it, I mean, I'm not going to say we're top-notch guys, but it's, once we've, I mean, we've made quite a few friends in the hunting community already, mm -hmm. and it's pretty you know, close in that bunch of guys, and and it's it's a fun, it's like a family. I just say, you know, I mean, eventually down the road, you know, who wouldn't want to get paid to do what they love? Yeah. You know, and for us, being out hunting, fishing, you know, um, with, with bringing my kids, you know, down the road, you know, who wouldn't love to do that and get paid for it? You know, so that's the dream, and you know, we're going after it. No excuses. Yeah. No, no excuses. excuses. No excuses. No excuses. <laughs> um, what's your guys' favorite part about? about being together and being and, and doing this Barrels Up um, company together. What's your favorite part? Mine would be goose hunting because in your downtime goose hunting, we talk about, hey, we should do this or that business-wise. So, I, I, I think most of our business meetings are done in the field, to be honest with you. <laughs> yep. I feel yep. like we've come, up, we've come up with most more ideas in the field where we're like, oh, well, that would be a cool thing to do or something like that, just sitting there waiting for birds to come or whatever, you know. Most of the time, just waiting, <laughs> but not. Or army crawling. Yeah, we're not experts, on. but. Yeah, it's being in the field with the guys, you know, and the guys that, you know, that come with us, you know, when they do, it's just, it's awesome.